Hello friends, today we shall see how to prepare reusable aluminium air batteries, no lithium, it will be just replacing the lithium batteries, it is so powerful, you can re what is why you call reusable is, you can replace the electrolyte whenever it is exhausted, whenever the aluminium electrodes are exhausted, you can replace it, this is a very very simple design we have, we have made, this is a tank where this is the aluminum electrode, you can take it out, replace it, take out the electrolyte, replace it. So this is why aluminum air batteries are reusable and very effective equal to the lithium batteries. So I, we can see how to prepare it. Let this be there, it, this will going on be working as long as the electrodes are there active, we keep it aside. We will keep it aside, let that work. So these are all the, I will show you paper, this will be our chart, how to prepare it, no lithium reusable air batteries, just make a screenshot of it. What all required is plastic container, positive electro tin sheet, then spray cap, you have to make a with a heated metal you can make slits like that, so that uh, the electrolyte pass through the positive and negative, then aluminum sheet, filter cloths, sodium hydroxide solution, only 8 grams in 100 ml, this is strong, you can even dilute and keep use it, the performance is volt 1.4 to 1.5, these are all the milliampers we get, all the strength depends on electrolyte and surface area, this will be the structure, this will be the structure, we can see it step by step. Just for your convenience, I have taken this two electro, already made it ready. You can see step by step, you can see it. This is a just a plastic container. Bottom, I put uh, some plastic uh, sheet just for a uh, leveling it, that's all. And this is the tin sheet, any tin sheet, whatever tin sheet available, you can cut it, see the surface are cleaned, then you have to put it like this, keep it, whatever tin sheet container, no, according to that you can cut the things and all. So this is also a cap, this is actually a spray cap, by using a heated metal, I made a slot like this. You put this slot, you can see the openings from inside, because the electrolyte should pass through the both the electrodes, positive and negative electrode. This is the aluminum sheet, we can cut any design, whatever you want, spherical also you can cut it, you can keep it inside. For safety measure, we put a filter, because contamination will go inside, that is why we put a filter, any filter cloth, whatever available, mask, all that, whatever available, we can put it which has to withstand the caustic solution, that is all. We can keep it inside. Then what you have to do is, so this will be the tin sheet, this one aluminum, this is the cap, that is all, this is, this is the engineering structure, we have to fill with carbon black, this is this uh, electrolyte, 2 n sodium hydroxide, what is 8 grams? in 100 ml of distilled water. This is the electrolyte which you are going to use it. This will be the carbon black which I obtained from, available, it is a conductive to carbon black, powder it is, I will show you how it is. Are you able to see it? Yeah, this is carbon black which I am going to fill these areas. The gap between, the gap between the, this one. So, positive electrode will be carbon black, negative will be the electrolyte. Just pour electrolyte into the negative electrode, the current will start. See, the, it is still running there. It is aluminum air battery, still running. It will run as far as the, the I mean aluminum sheet is active. You can replace it. So, we can see how, step by step we can see how to do it. I will show you how to prepare now. 
the same thing this one also same here i put a rubber band so we'll say start same same thing we can start step by step now you can use on a uh, spoon you can use on spoon and slowly you can fill it you can slowly fill it i am showing in a little fast time the through cell i am not able to see properly able to see bottom i filled it just for our to start with no that's all then slowly you have to fill the gaps this gap you have to fill it it all depends on your your own technique because i use a very raw technique you can do whatever like a funnel whatever available through you you can use it. so in between this gap you have to fill it this is the only work we have to do other things it will just start this becomes then you reusable that's a technique good one able to see it see that you pour in between not into the center of the thing because that is as negative this is all positive so you are not, you are not supposed to put into the inside of this red can almost we have filled it you can even use any dry cells no dry cells black powders are available even that you can use it you can make it still more cheap so i uh, almost i put it so some uh, you can just pierce it no give a surface you able to see it slowly give us small press so that it is well packed inside because the more well packed the better current output will be there current output because the ions have to pass through that it becomes more conductive the feeble pressing less current will come so almost it is ready almost it is ready you want to see it so this is a tin sheet as positive in between is the carbon black this is the aluminum you want to see it this is a structure so that's all we already ma already made similarly you can make another one also you can make another one if you want i can make it we will we'll make it so each each battery gives out uh, 1.4 to 1.5 volts and this is reusable that is the advantage of this battery it is reusable i am little slow you can make it past also 
any technique you can follow Almost we have finished it. Okay, friends, we have done it. There will be some uh, finishing mistakes by me. You can do it better. So, we have prepared the engineering structures of this cell, that is all. So, this all you can do it at home, same. It is now prepared. What I will do is now, I will slowly clean those. So, I just uh, I replace the papers. So, it looks better now. One cell, another one cell. So, this is negative, this is positive carbon place. Similarly, this is positive and negative. What I will do, I will interconnect it using wires. So, this is negative, I am going to interconnect. All your imagination it is with a positive attitude. So, negative, positive are connected. So, this become two cells connected from here, this is the positive. Okay. The negative I can put as yellow because always positive will be red colors, that is the rules going on. So, we have made two cells interconnected. What I have to do? This is the electrolyte. How to prepare? 8 grams of sodium hydroxide and terminal distilled water. Can you see the battery still running? Just I will show you. Now I am going to pour this into these tubs, center tubs. I have half filled it because do not make it to overflow. Able to see it? I will show you. Able to see? That is all. Cell is now ready. It will be liberating the currents. I will show you. Cell is ready. This one is positive. Able to see the voltage? 3.26. So, each cell gives you 1.5. Similarly, you can see the ampere also. 2.94. Just I have been counted. It will be rising it. See, more than 3. So, both cells can give you this one. So, we have seen the through multimeter what is the voltage we have seen it. Even I can show you the light glowing. This will connect it with the positive. This with the negative. Able to see? Okay. Now I will show you the motors running. So I will catch it. But uh, time is going on. Able to see running? Okay. Okay, friends. 
this is called as reusable aluminum air batteries so you can uh, change the zinc electrode when once it is exhausted electrolyte you can change it okay friends if you like it give a your like button you can comment it you can even subscribe i will be happy i can do still more modified batteries for you thank you